Hello there guys, Elite Legionaria here and today I am bringing you a 4 vs 4 31k for Rome Total War and today I'd like to be trying my um, chances with Pontus um, which isn't very common um, especially for me um, I'm using a bit of a different build for Pontus but I'll talk about that in a moment um, I'm teamed up with Heavens Muhammad, he's playing as Carthage uh, COH Phlegathon, he's playing as the Julii, and out on the far right wing is Heaven's Coda, he's playing as the Senate. Opposite him, on the enemy team is Scipii, under the command of Demon Soul, or the Brotherhood Clan. Then there is Diabolic, of the Brotherhood Clan, he's in command of the Greek cities. Then in command of Macedon is Titans SK, and Opposite me, under the Bruti, with the Brutii, is Talos of the Brotherhood Clan. So my army was essentially a little bit different uh, from what you'd expect from Pontus. Normally you'd expect from Pontus uh, about 14 Bronze Shield Pikemen and 2 Chariot Archers and 4 Scythe Chariots. Um, what we were trying to do here is they suggested to me to bring a bunch of pikes, more like 18 bronze shield pikemen and put a crap load of upgrades on them. The idea being that to give, that the enemy would probably bring archers to counter what my chariots and things like that, but if I don't have the chariots I'd have extra infantry and they'd have less infantry because I'd have brought archers. So the thinking was to basically um, catch them off guard with a slightly sort of different build. However, um, I wasn't huge. I, I did it, but I wasn't hugely confident in it. It's not that I, I think the massive numbers of bronze shield pikemen could be effective, but um, I was really worried about Macedon or the Greeks fighting me. Basically, I was all right to fight Rome. I felt because I could just simply amass my pikes in a massive amount of numbers and depth. Um, but the Macedonian and Greek players would probably be able to. Um, Especially Mastodon, we had to put these into huge depths as well and just push through mine because of the superior power of their pikes. Um, I knew if I had mass numbers against Roman, I could, Romans, I could probably hold them out for quite a long time. Still would lose, but I'd be able to hold them out for ages, but pikes would push through me much quicker than that. So I was a bit worried about that. Um, and I didn't really want to, I wanted to avoid Rome or the Greek cities as much as I possibly could for the fight. So anyway, um, I moved my two chariots out here to the left. I'm going to try and get um, Titans to expend his archers' ammunition as much as possible on my chariots and do as much damage there. Um, try and wither away their missile advantage if we can. I might outline my allies actually. Um, uh, Fleg is going to move out here to the left, I think, um, cover my flank there. But uh, he's got, I think his army's like standard. Um, uh, might have some archers actually. Yeah, he's got some archers. I don't know how many he might have on there. I don't think he only got one actually. And then he'll have the 14 urbans and 5 Praetorian cab, I think. Muhammad's got um, 3 Balearic slingers. Then what looks to be uh, 16. It might be 4 Balearic. 16 or 17 Carthaginian sacred band. And. Uh, Coda has got four Praetorian Cav there, so it's March Auxilia there, and then probably 14 Urban, ah, 13 Urban in the Legendary First it appears. So as you can see I'm skirmishing out here with Titans SK and Talos' Archers there. Let's have a look at Talos' army, he's got, we've got the first cohort and then he's probably got too many Cav, he's got one, two, three, four, four. that's five calves, so he's probably got um, 13 urbans, first cohort, ah, two first cohorts, maybe that's 11 urbans then, and then that, that archer. Uh, I've destroyed that archer and I'll start working on the Cretan archers in a moment. Let's have a look at SKs, those four archers obviously, he has two companion cavalry in the back, and then he has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 raw pipe. Uh, Diabolic's army, he has um, four units of, sorry, eight, 11, 12, 13 Spartan on whites, and looks like one, two, three, four, five, six 
arches, two being Cretans, four being standard. And then Scipio is, let's see, um, I think his army is five Praetorian Cav, and yeah, the first cohort, and then 13, um, uh, no, and then the 14 Urbans, yeah. So, um, Coda and him are pretty close to each other already. Um, the skirmish duel's going on here, and looks to be going Greek's way, which probably was what I'd expect from that. Fleeg has taken up the left flank, um, oh no, I forgot the left flank, but Fleeg's covering my, um, covering my guys here with his, uh, Urbans, and they're just, he's doing a bit of a, uh, tussle here with, um, with Talos. As you can see here, uh, these two companion calves start chasing me off, probably because they'll wait to tire me out a bit there. Um, I got my guys on guard mode though, I don't want to stay in this. However, I did actually do quite a bit of damage here, but I knew this one, this one would catch me, it would probably destroy me, so I keep withdrawing here. My guys are firing backwards, and he is losing men as he's doing it. So these chariots are make, do make an account for themselves. They've already destroyed an archer and a half, and then half cavalry in it, but I have lost one of them. I would have liked to have done more with them, to be honest, but uh, I wasn't able to do so. And I'm just retreating back to my lines, and I should imagine Titans will give this chase up in a moment. Um, it's at this stage where the Greek player Diabolic starts sending some of his guys around um, and same with Talos, they start moving on to my flank here um, as you can see uh, the, so the Missile Duel well it's, I mean the Carthaginian's not, you know, just Bolyric Slingers do great but he's got support from Archer Auxilia and they are helping so it's pretty even in that capacity um, Code has got out onto the flank here um, not really sure what he's shooting at, he's probably just shooting at the flanks of some of these urbans or something like that. Um, can't really see, maybe he's getting some of these archers, I'm not sure. Uh, as you can see though, um, the Greeks and the Brutio are moving to the flank here, so I have to peel off my peeler screen to try and absorb as much of this peeler that's going to come at me. I don't get it quite quick enough, so I do lose a few men out of this unit. Uh, I was worried about this, so I'm going to have to start refusing my flank in a moment, um, because there's no way I can take those Spartans on as, you know, like that, and then still have enough to face off against these Pikes and Brutii. So I'm going to start refusing my flank here, but Fleeg is going to support me here. Um, I've got my arch, my chariot archers here, and I'm trying to get some flank shots on the Spartans. Um, as you can see, uh, these guys in the loose, I do put them into formation just to hold them up. I've got to lose these guys, obviously, but they were the peeler screen, so it's not really a big deal. Uh, as you can see, um, the Scipio is bringing the cab this way. And I'm going to start peeling units off, but I get them into pretty thick, deep formations, so I'm just going to get broken through here uh, by these Spartans. But he doesn't want to take that kind of fight, so he retreats. Um, Carthage, or Hummer just sending some troops to assist me here, um, and um, I don't really have much, you know, I have a peeler screen in place here, so it's not exactly great. So I start withdrawing here, um, pulling back, because I don't want to take a fight like that. I take a few peeler in the process, because I wasn't careful enough with the peeler screen. Um, but I don't want to take this fight on the flank, because I just, I will, I'm, I'm not, I'm alright to face Talos, and, um, Maybe some of the Spartans have got, have got numerical superiority going on, but I don't want to fight Mastodon because Mastodon has the same number of units in each individual unit. doesn't have as many pikes, but because Royal Pikemen are better and he's got the same numbers, I wouldn't be able to just go to depth and be able to beat him that way. So Fleet goes into Testudo here just to hold up his Spartans. Um, I'm still under Peeler Assault um, and lost quite a lot of Royal Pikemen, um, I mean um, Bronze Shields as a result. Um, looks like Coder is falling back a bit, uh, but I believe Carthage, Carthage is supporting over here as well, so that'll come in here. They should be very useful against the Spartans. Um, I create another peeler screen here, just because I was getting tired of getting shot up by them. Um, but I decided to condense my, arm, my men here, but they kind of get a bit funny when I do that, but uh, if I can hold these guys out for a while, but here's where I was worried, I was really worried about Titans, because I know his Pikemen's going to be, because he's got the same numbers in the units as I said just before, and they're better than my bronze shields, so he won't have trouble destroying them, so I was really worried about that. Um, but at this stage, uh, we just sort of prepare our lines here, um, trying to keep much in reserve, i really kind of looking back on the way we did this battle, it probably would have just been better to have brought the chariots instead, but 
um, we were trying to do something a bit different to catch our opponents sort of unawares or off guard. Um, here these guys are getting flank shots, so I had to start moving them. So I've got a pretty good line, condensed line here going on and supported by one of these sacred bands. I'm able to keep these Talos, Talos guys out of, out of range here, but our flanks are being shot at by these archers. Um, which I don't know if I noticed right away. But uh, holding out these urbans here is fine, but um, I think well, we played a more defensive role, I think. Um, I think without the chariots, it was more difficult to be aggressive with Pontus, because I think that, like, if you use the chariots right, they're extremely devastating. Pontus can be very dangerous, I think. Most people don't like them, though. I mean, if, I think in this case, it was probably a little bit too much of a gamble going with this. Even though I got lots of pikes and I was going for, um, I was sort of going numerical over quantity, um, I'm not going to be probably capable, you know, especially like, like if I could just handle some Romans without without the Greeks or especially Macedon nearby, I'd probably be okay. So I see these Spartans are here, so I decided to just get my guys really, really dense here and just try and push them aside. Every death, every Spartan unit that's destroyed is going to be really useful. Um, because I've got the numerical numbers going on here, I should be able to do that. However, Titans SK is going to start bringing in his Royal Pikemen to assist in this fight, so I'm going to have a lot more trouble uh, in dealing with that. Over here, um, it looks like it's just sort of skirmishing and uh, a little bit of manoeuvring, bandying for position going on between Coda and Demon Soul there. Um, but um, what else is going on? I mean, it's just a bit of a pike scrap here, but I'm pulling back because I just don't want to fight these raw pike monks. I'm just going to lose. Um, and of course, these guys are on my flank are being a constant nuisance, kind of just forcing you know Fleek um, to be in position to assist just me there. So um, as you can see, um, these these royal pipe men are going to keep pushing forward. I'm trying to get them separated from their lines a bit there. Um, Fleek's going to bring in some of his guys and he's going to catch in the flank, which is going to be very, very helpful. So I believe in a moment I will start bringing forces forward to assist them, just because I know these guys have got a flank. Um, didn't realise this unit was on an angle like this. I probably should have come forward to actually engage that one. But I'm going to start bringing my guys forward now, try and catch some of these Spartans. There's some Spartans still here, but... Uh, these urbans have got him on the flank like this, um, although they did break here because he brought these dudes in as well. So um, I'm just going to really get stuck fighting in here um, because I didn't uh, come in fast enough to support uh, Fleek there. Um, so I've got pretty overwhelming numbers coming in on me there. Um, there is some Pila giving some support, um, so I'm holding out alright because I've got depth. That's basically the only reason, otherwise I'd get thrashed. If he matches my depth, I'm going to get moaned um, just because his pikes are better. Um, as you can see, they're starting to move onto our flanks here, right in behind us, um, which is a little um, concerning. So we, we end up taking a really defensive approach. Um, I, I really didn't think attacking was any, log any real sort of logical step for me in this battle because I've just not got the, um, I've just not got the power or the aggressive army to do it. Um, I'm more defensive and just a big quantity kind of support army, which is basically what I'm doing, holding them up. Because you can see they're concentrating mostly on me because I represent the weaker infantry uh, part, but there is lots of me. So if we can hold them up and do enough damage and our allies with their stronger, my allies with their stronger infantry should be able to help, you know, help out quite a bit here. So they have to create like a rear guard behind me, or Fleeg does that, and um, Coda's got some infantry and support there. Um, and some of these sacred sacred bands are in the fight now, but the rule pipe are in slightly deeper formation, so it's no oh, well it's not too grabbed here, so it's pretty even, but I'm not deep enough anymore. Um, my numbers are pretty thin, so I'm losing quite a lot of quite a few men at that stage. Uh, Fleg has gone to an infantry scrap with the Spartans, but only two urbans like this, and he's not gonna be able to do it. And then of course there's a pretty good charge here by SK. Um, it doesn't route these urbans, at least it doesn't appear to have. Okay, it's routed one of them. But um, it's going to destroy them, it's, which is pretty rough. Um, so at this stage, uh, we've, we've done quite a bit of damage to some of these case pipes and some of these Spartans, but quite a lot of it's cost, cost me a lot of men. I decided to bring a unit of my pikes back here, just because there's a lot of cavalry in this area, and if we can throw it into a cavalry fight, we might get that decisive cavalry edge, because if we get that cavalry edge, we can actually find a way around this to perhaps destroy Talos and the Scipii and then allow us to close and close in and circle on the uh, Greeks and the Macedonians. Um, over here the Sacred Band is going to take on uh, the Spartans. Um, 
they're probably not quite deep enough. You want to be a little, the sacred band want to be a little bit deeper just because the Spartans are a bit better. Um, as pikemen over here, the cab charges begin, um, and initially, um, I think it looks pretty good for the most part initially. Um, because we get a nice breakthrough here and some of these guys route. Coder is beginning a care fight over here and he's holding up some of these brood guys but he's way outnumbered so he's going to get pretty banged out there but it does keep Talos out of this cavalry fight um, which means Flea got a pretty nice charge. Because my pikes are generally around the area I can at least keep them from charging straight through. Um, over here as you can see um, my, some of my pikes break uh, and the Carthaginian pikes are now breaking as well. Over here, um, I was a little slow to support uh, Muhammad here. I do start bringing guys in to come and help him, but as you see, my pikes are now pretty thinned out. Um, bring my pikes in here. For some reason, they keep shuffling backwards, though. That's why it appears they're not engaging properly, but they start to come forward again. Cavalry fight's going pretty big out here, um, but it looks to be going in favour of opponents because I mentioned to catch uh, Flagathon still. Uh, but Coda does get a nice charge into the side here, which does cause a route flint has got some of these guys going here, but uh, Scipio is going to get out. Some of these, some of Talos' cab is going to route, and it's pretty chaotic. Um, at this particular fight, we're a little worried here because they're starting to, cr they're starting to break around our flanks, um, so that means Muhammad's going to have to pull troops off to stop this from happening. Um, I just tried to pull some guys back here because I don't want to take on these guys on my own at this stage. You can see I'm going quite deep out here, and when I'm supported with Muhammad Rob, we destroy some of these Royal Pikemen. These guys are holding out against these Spartans and Royal Pikemen, they probably won't be able to do so for too long though. Um, the cavalry scrap is still going on, Fleek has done a pretty nice job and we look like we've recovered pretty nicely from what was initially looking like a pretty bad run. Um, we've caught some of these Spartans out, which is great, uh, between Coda and Fleek. Um, the cav fight, I think, is pretty pretty even there. Uh, it seems Talos and Coda got destroyed, but Fleg and um, Demon Soul still have some units left. So we're just trying to help support these fights here, um, getting these pikes in and scrapping away here. It's a big, big cluster grind down fight. Um, and Probably, I'd give the favour over to the other teams since we've got, we've got more of a higher quality pipe, so we probably have the numbers with my bronze shields being in such large numbers from the beginning, but my guys are pretty weakened. Um, and the flank over here is taking a lot of um, these sacred bands, which is unfortunate because we really need them in the actual pipe battle over here uh, because they're going to be superb. So um, Fleg starts bringing some of his guys over here because we figure if we get a breakthrough on this flank, um, we might be able to start moving behind um, Titans, SK, and some of these Greek units out here. And all Coda has to do is just hold out the Scipii, and we can try and get breakthrough on that flank. Um, as you see, it's looking quite good in this flank at the moment. We've got some. We've got, I think we've got local superiority here now. Um, we we're worried about cavalry though, because they still have. Ca I think they have a slight cavalry advantage. Yeah, they have a cavalry advantage. Um, but we need to do something about the centre pretty soon because we need to rescue it because I think we're going to get pretty defeated on that centre there. Um, I think I was repositioning this unit so yeah, I think I'm starting to reposition it. Here, um, Talos is bringing some guys over to support this um, and we do get a nice breakthrough here and we break the Brutii and Greek infantry on this flank. So that was looking good at this stage of the fight. Um, however, Talos is going to withdraw and come in behind his flank. My general just died, which was really bad. Um, if I'd known, I thought these guys were more in the fight, but they're actually just sort of sitting there. If I'd known that was the case, I would have pushed forward a little more here. Um, managed to break some of these Crete archers over here. Um, didn't even realise this unit wasn't in formation. I think I was trying to preserve them. And um, yeah, if I'd known this, I would have come in sooner because I probably could have actually got, got quite a bit of damage done on Titan. So I was a wee bit sluggish there, and I do blame myself for that. We do break these remaining pikemen here, and um, Muhammad's coming in on the flank here. Um, but yeah, I, I think I because it, because it was so much like infantry in the vicinity and bodies and everything, I think I got confused and thought they were in the fight when they actually weren't. 
So Coder's were drawing back, he's going to kind of refuse the flank. I think what we were trying to do was destroy these pikes in the centre and then basically trying to surround Scipio once he was by himself. Well that was the initial plan. Um, over here as you can see that cavalry superiority is going to be a real nuisance. They're going to do a bit of damage. They just try swamping the cavalry here. Uh, Coder's going to try it with his archers so there's no flank shots, good idea. And then Fleet's probably going to get a flank charge and Coder, um, Scipio would draw the cav. So yeah, um, I was, I was, yeah, I didn't realise that I hadn't properly engaged, um, and I should have much sooner supported that. I think we could have done a lot better. That was really, really bad on my part. I didn't even realise it had happened. I just thought because cluster of units in the area, and I was focusing, you know, on moving other units around and checking areas on the battlefield and keeping up with what the other guys are doing. That I didn't realise that these three units here were not really properly engaged. And I think if I got these three and started punching a hole in that section where I got the mouse right now, we might have had a better success getting through here because as we do as we start doing so over here um, I start pushing forward um, I think I realize it roughly around this point that I haven't properly engaged so I need to start doing so now um, as you see over here we start pushing in quite quite intensely um, not everyone was putting their pikes down however uh, even though that the formation was on I was a little bit worried about that because I didn't want to route, basically route I decided to increase my depth even more just to try and push through here. Was concerned, however, when the Spartans started to close on the flank there. Coda is in a scrap with Neiman. Um, I think he's not doing the greatest there, unfortunately. Uh, we're trying to uh, break through here. As you can see, uh, Coda is trying to outflank on this side. We're trying to destroy Macedon um, the most. As you see, we're getting a pretty hefty breakthrough here. We've got huge superiority in numbers there. Um, we're trying to crack through. He turns some cab around to meet Coda here. I mean, not cab, his pikes rather. Uh, out here, as you can see, um, the Scipio, Scipio really kind of carries his team at this point. Um, he's going to get a flank charge down here and try and get Coda's general. I think at this stage I pull one of these pikes away just to try and help Coda so that I can keep the cab out from charging his lines. I think one of these, I think maybe this one here, I, I send it to go and help him because it, it looks like we're doing pretty good. Um, we've got Macedon practically surrounded and we finally punched through over here and it looked pretty good at this stage we we're still confident or at least we felt pretty good the Spartans were a bit of a concern though because they're starting to outflank Coda and some of his troops are breaking and we thought we have to look after Coda on this on this you know flank because if he cracks under the Scipio we're going to definitely lose um, and so we start pushing forward again trying to get to the flank of these Macedonians um, Fleg is going to use some urban support here to keep these Spartans out so we can destroy Macedon without the worry. Um, so I put my pikes in here, this helps them in the infantry fight and um, it can help us against the cab. Um, so I think I think if uh, Fleg had, oh no I'm not sure was Fleg trying to come to charge over here or not, he might have been able to get a break, maybe charge this area here where it's quite thin, we might have got a breakthrough there. Um, I try turning my pikes to face the cav, um, and I do get a few of them, but I'm pretty sure my bronze shields are going to break. Um, I was having trouble getting my pikes to kind of get into the fight, they were kind of clumping. Um, I probably should have moved them around a bit more, that's what I'm trying to do over here, I'm trying to get an encirclement on these Spartans. As you can see, it's looking kind of good, but unfortunately the Scipio has still got a ton of units and he does break us there. Um, and we're too busy kind of fighting what's left of the Macedonian and um, Greek units here and we do eventually destroy them but this is way too much Scipio infantry left. So I, um, I start pulling units back here to guard our flank because um, I mean we've got a, still got quite a large number of pikes we might be able to hold them out for a while and if um, Fleet can get a good cav charge and maybe maybe I mean it's a pretty big pass it's a pretty big maybe we might still be able to win them at this point but it's not likely. Um, I turn my guys to face here with my pikes, but this peeler coming in and overwhelming numbers in the vicinity makes this exceptionally difficult to do so. Um, as you can see, um, Hubbard's trying to turn his guys around here, but uh, he's going to have to keep his back space and all that because his guys and got his swords out, you see, and I'll be trashed by those Roman infantry and sword kind of situation. So, um, initially we're able to hold these Romans in bay for a while, but uh, overwhelming numbers are problematic here uh, and we haven't completely destroyed the Macedonian units out here um, but uh, my two bronze shields are really the only thing holding this section and of course he got this unit round and it's starting to break through 
Um, and my basically my bronze shield's a big chain around here. As you can see, my yeah, all my all my bronze shield pipement break. So um, the morale is not as high as some of the other infantry units around us. Um, and then he brings his cav in here, and this basically routes a few, basically just a chain route with all our forces. So uh, he did very well, Demon Soul did, because um, we essentially had stopped the others. Um, but I think, honestly, looking back at this fight, it probably it was a gamble. We knew it was a gamble for me to go with that many infantry with Pontus. But we wanted to kind of catch our opponents off guard because we wanted them to bring bunches of archers to counter what they thought would be a bunch of scythe chariots, which would not actually be there, and they give, therefore give us the infantry quantity advantage with our extra infantry. But they did have stronger pikes all around, so it, it, it did work out pretty um, well for them. So it's pretty close, though, I felt. I mean, look at the bodies on this. There was just strewn everywhere. <laughs> All kinds of nations, Greeks and Romans and Carthaginians, um, pikes of all kinds. It's, it was an epic battle. Um, and we, hit, we have some wonderful cab work out the back. Um, awesome pike. You know, plenty of pikes in this fight. You know, half, half of it was pikes, half of it was... We're actually way more pikes than Romans, and that was quite interesting. It was sort of half Romans, well, actually half Romans, half pikes. It was quite good. So on our team, uh, Muhammad and... All our team did pretty well. I only got 1,243. When I had 2,287 men, it wasn't that great. Um, it was still not too bad, considering the inferiority of bronze shields against the kind of pikes I was facing. Um, let's have a look. Yes, yeah, so 1,586 for Muhammad, and you know these two, the other guys got a wee bit more kills than me. Um, very good kills on the enemy team, though, especially from Titans and Diabolic. I mean, Demon Soul and Talos are certainly carried. Um, held their own and made a good account for themselves for sure, especially Demon Zoe did very, very well at the end there. Um, let's have a look, see, so yeah, um, my Chariot Archers, they actually did do quite a lot of kills, um, but as you can see, a lot of these Bronze Shields, some of them 12, 4, 6, 8, they took 2, they took too much Peeler and that was very wasteful. Um, I should have been more careful with them. I think, honestly, just going with the Chariots is a much more advisable build. For Pontus, um, I think you know the chariots give you that kind of ability, but um, if, if you stuff it with the chariots, you're stuffed completely. So you do it too careful. But overall, I think you'd be better to bring chariots rather than a bunch of pikes like this. But the, the thinking was to catch our opponents off guard with a slightly different build, but it didn't really work. So uh, it's a bit unfortunate. Um, but nonetheless, this was a thoroughly awesome battle. Um, I really, really enjoyed it, and it doesn't matter that we lost. It was just epic. Um, and it was a really, really great game. So good game to all those seven other players. Very good players, all of them. Um, much better than me. But um, it was it was super duper fun. I really enjoyed it. So thanks for playing, guys. Uh, and thanks for watching, viewers. I hope you've enjoyed us. Um, do leave comments, guys. I do love to read comments. Um, I think every YouTuber does. When you make a video, it's always nice to read the comments, see what people um, are thinking. And, you know, you can give criticisms. You can... Say what you like, as long as it's friendly and, you know, all good. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you soon next time.